Before arriving in the Falklands, he'd ensured his hair was clipped in the style of English army officers. Not long, but not too short. Rather that of a man who was posing as a gentleman in important service. He applied dabs of Harvey Nichols' aftershave to his troth, placed his fake passport into his pocket, grabbed his wallet and car keys, donned an expensive heavy woolen overcoat and stood in front of a full-length mirror. He smiled. He looked every inch the persona he wished to convey. He left the hotel and drove across Stanley. The house he was seeking was almost the last property on the outskirts of the capital, overlooking the sea, modest in size, a small garden in front. He stopped his hired car outside the home's fence and got out, and rang the front doorbell. A woman in her sixties opened the door. 